begin with a story you may find disturbing both in pictures and description. It surrounds the death of this man and how the 35-year-old went from this to this during a 24-hour stay at the Erie County Holding Center back in 2012. Now, four years later, new information shining a fresh light on the fate of Richard Metcalf. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Jeff Rusak joining us now with the very latest on this disturbing story. Yeah, I spent the day going through this 25-page report. It says Metcalf's death was a homicide. In the early morning of November 27th, 2012, Metcalf was arrested by the Depew Police Department, accused of criminal mischief and burglary. Officers say he resisted arrest and was tasered twice. That morning, a judge says that he ordered a psychiatric evaluation due to the police officer's reports of Metcalf's behavior during the arrest. After his court appearance, the report says Metcalf was sitting in his holding center, spreading around his own feces. At the Erie County Holding Center, Metcalf was initially assigned to a specialized housing unit for inmates with mental health needs. But during intake, under the question that asked, has the staff requested special needs housing, a deputy circled no. According to the Commission of Correction, a critical mistake by the Holding Staff Center. According to the report, on the night of the 28th, Metcalf was acting in an irrational manner. A deputy said Metcalf was biting and punching himself, as well as picking at his own scabs with a plastic fork. Deputies contained, handcuffed, and began to move Metcalf to a medical examination room. While this was happening, Metcalf started to spit large amounts of blood at the deputies. Deputies then put a spit mask on Metcalf that looks similar to this one. According to the report, Metcalf bit through it, and then a deputy placed a pillowcase over his head. Metcalf was taken to the Erie County Medical Center. A doctor removed the pillowcase and saw this. He described the spit guard being tied so tightly to Metcalf's neck, it needed to be cut off with scissors. The following day, Metcalf died. According to the report, further investigation revealed the tightly tied mask limited Metcalf's ability to breathe. The death now considered a homicide. The Erie County Sheriff's Office released this statement saying, We believe the State Correction Commission mischaracterized and misinterpreted critical evidence, and the failure to accurately take account of that evidence led to flawed conclusions. The Erie County Sheriff's Office looks forward to defending itself and the actions of its deputies in court. Now, the report recommends the deputy who tied that mask, as well as the supervising deputy, be investigated. The commission is calling for better training for deputies to deal with inmates who are dealing with mental health needs at the uh, holding center. We've got the entire report up on our website at WKBW.com. Truly tough to hear the details here. Jeff, what's the next move? Well, we're going to be speaking with Metcalf's family tomorrow, and we're hoping to hear what they plan on doing next. All right, sounds good. Jeff, thanks for your reporting tonight.